Hi class, welcome to the LEGO Bricks in Space program. It's time to get out your student worksheet. Working alongside the crew on board the International Space Station, you will find all the answers to the questions on your worksheet. Teachers, when you see the pause prompt on the screen, please pause the video to give students time to record their answers. Hold on to your seats as we launch into space. astronaut for the European Space Agency and presently on board of the International Space Station as a member of Expedition 30. And I'm very pleased that you are uh, joining my uh, classroom in orbit and uh, especially pleased uh, because of the topic of today which is a windmill. And uh, I'm from the Netherlands and we have a lot of windmills to keep uh, to pump out the water and to get energy from the wind. Uh, we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to uh, use this windmill and uh, we have uh, several blades. We have two blades, a three blade option and a four blade option. And every experiment has a good hypothesis. Hypothesis takes into account all the variables that you have to, to think about uh, and also comes with an idea of what the outcome could be. So uh, will it be more effective to use two blades, three blades or four blades? We're going to test that. So um, we have to find an airstream. Now let's see where we get the airstream from. Now in the space station, we need air in order to uh, ventilate because there's no up and down and uh, it would be bad if uh, the CO2 stays around my, uh, my mouth all the time. So we get the air out, the old air sucked in here and it comes out there. And this way we circulate through the whole space station. Now we can put this windmill here in the airstream and let's see uh, how fast it turns. So we have a two blade option. We put it in the airstream and now we calculate. I'll start counting on top for 10 times. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So it took 23 seconds to take ten times. So we're going to put on the third blade. So now we have three blades. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 27 seconds so 27 seconds so it's slower
and you saw also that it was wobbly because it's not stable. So this is three blades is slower, 23, 27, than four blades. Now, uh, than two blades. Now we're going to try four blades. Okay, so we have four blades and let's see how that works. Okay, here we go, four blades. We do the same experiment, put it in the airstream and I start counting. So it's zero, as at the top, then I start. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And this is 26 seconds. So we did a little experiment and it looks like that the, the two blades, probably because it's lighter, less weight, less mass, because here we have no weight, uh, goes a bit faster. So there is some variation. Um, we, of course, if you do the, the right test, you have to do it a lot. But uh, our first conclusion is that uh, the two blades are, uh, in this situation, the most effective. But we also saw that in microgravity, you have uh, no problems with wind and, uh, and the working of a propeller because the driving force is not the gravity, but it's the, the wind force. So, uh, I hope you liked the uh, classroom in space and uh, this little experiment uh, with windmills and uh, I hope uh, you can do uh, a lot of these kind of experiments and, uh, and maybe you change the outcome because the variables might be different and if you do a lot of tests the statistics might also play a role. Bye bye.